Welcome back. Former Vice President Joe Biden is calling out fellow Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders, wanting him to do more in condemning what Biden calls malicious online supporters. Biden made the remarks after an onslaught of online attacks on the Nevada Culinary Workers Union after they criticized Bernie Sanders' health care plan. The stuff that was said online, the way they threatened these two women who are leaders in that culinary union, it is outrageous. Just, just go online. I invite anybody to go and take a look. The things they said, the vicious, malicious, misogynistic things they said, the threats they put out. And to say I disassociate is one thing. Find out who the hell they are. If any of them work for me, fire them. Find out. See what's going on. You don't think he's been curious enough? I'm hoping he's looking. Sanders passed out his own criticism going after billionaire former mayor of New York City and candidate Mike Bloomberg. Regardless of how much money a multi-billionaire candidate is willing to spend on his election, we will not create the energy and excitement we need to defeat Donald Trump if that candidate pursued, advocated for, and enacted racist policies like stop and frisk, <laughs> which caused communities of color in his city to live in fear. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren took the stage Saturday night at an event in Las Vegas. She touted her experience as a teacher and a fighter for the middle class and said she's determined not to let a cold stop her. So I've got bad news and good news. The bad news is after more than 100,000 selfies, I picked up somebody's cold. The good news is, nevertheless, she persists. <laughs> yeah, she is. Senator Amy Klobuchar is also campaigning hard in the state. She's looking to continue from her strong showing in the New Hampshire primary. CNN's Kyung La was at a packed Klobuchar rally in Las Vegas. One week to the Nevada caucuses, and if this room is any indication, interest is at least somewhat high. This is the room awaiting for the rally for Amy Klobuchar. Now, she is considered somebody who hasn't had a lot of presence in Nevada, hasn't had the infrastructure, but this is the room that will greet her for her second rally of the day, one week before the caucuses. And the other candidates are also up and about. All of the Democratic candidates will be in Nevada at some point today. Joe Biden had a morning event. He was in Las Vegas. After that fifth place finish in New Hampshire, he is looking to turn his chances around. Bernie Sanders was campaigning in Carson City. He is widely considered the front runner in the state. A lot of people saying that they will indeed caucus for him. He is trying to maintain that status. Status. Elizabeth Warren has also been out at a community event in Las Vegas. She put a call out to her grassroots donors asking for money, and she announced that she had raised $1 million from her donors. As far as Amy Klobuchar, the senator from Minnesota, she is someone who is saying she's still an underdog. She did beat expectations in New Hampshire with that third place finish. Here's what she said at her rally this morning. I've just done this step by step by step. And when you think of where I came from, there were a lot of people that actually didn't think I was going to make it through that speech in the middle of a blizzard. So one week to the caucuses, but today is the first day of early voting. There will be four days of early voting. Kyung La, CNN, Las Vegas.